everyone! Today I'm going to use two tutorials to teach you everything you need to know to get started with t-shirt cutting and weaving. I've come up with some basic terms to help describe my techniques and I've got lots of tips and tricks to help you succeed. First let's start with materials. If like me you don't have a mannequin or someone to wear your clothing, cut yourself a piece of cardboard roughly your size to slip inside of your clothing before cutting and weaving. It's a huge help. Next is a ruler for measuring and drawing straight lines, which just keeps everything looking neat and tidy. Then you will need sharp scissors. I use fabric scissors because they help me cut straighter lines easier without any pulling or slipping. And last is something to mark your clothing with. Now I usually just say something to mark your clothing with and leave it at that, but what I really mean is I use Conte sticks. I started using them because that's what I had lying around but I kept using them because they come in both light and dark colors and they wash off really easily. But you can also use fabric pencils, regular chalk, tailor's chalk, I've even used a pencil and a pen before. Now for the first tutorial, we'll start with a rectangular shape with an open end, which just means where the weave ends is at the edge of the garment. I will show you the ladder weave technique, I did it here twice, then we'll go over how to do these bows. Start by putting your shirt on inside out and making all the necessary markings. In this case, I'm just marking how short to cut the shirt because it's very long. Mark a little farther down than you want it because the fabric will curl. Now it's time to prep the shirt. Lay it down and keep your shirt inside out because we want to do all the markings on the inside. Most of the time I cut off the bottom of the shirt and the collar because I find it easier to work with cut edges rather than hems, but this step is optional. When you're cutting, go very slowly and carefully. It's easier to cut straight lines the first time than it is to correct a jagged edge. Now it's time to pick a shape and where your design will go. I started with a basic rectangle section on the back from the top of the shirt to the bottom. Then I realized this shirt was a little wonky, so I had to adjust my measurements. After plotting out where your design will go, you will have to mark your cutting lines and how thick your strands will be. Be sure not to make your strands too thin. Thicker strands are easier to work with, but thinner strands give you more to work with. With thinner strands you can create more elaborate designs, but there's a chance they could rip. I find 2 centimeters wide is a good medium and I wouldn't go thinner than half an inch. For this tutorial, I measured out two centimeter wide sections all the way down the shirt. Then I used these marks to draw straight lines across my marked out shape. After marking out your strands, it's time to cut them. So grab your cardboard and slip it inside the shirt to prevent you from cutting the other layer of fabric. Start by pinching the fabric at the corner of your marked out shape to cut a small hole, then cut along the measured line, stopping at the edge of the marked out shape. Cut along all the lines that go across the shape to make your strands. After all the strands are cut, stretch them out really well to make them curl up. Even though by stretching the shirt out we are making it bigger, the end result might be tighter than the original shirt. The more weaving you do and the tighter you pull, the tighter the clothing will be, so keep that in mind while t-shirt weaving. Another thing to think about is what side of the fabric you're weaving on. The front and the back of a pattern look different, so if you prefer the look of the back side, you can do your weaving while the shirt is still inside out. For this pattern, I chose the front side to weave on, so I turned my shirt inside in. Then put the cardboard back inside. Now it's time to start weaving. We'll start with the ladder weave. Grab your top strand and pull it down. Then grab the second strand and pull it up behind and over the first strand. Then pull your second strand down and pull the third up behind and over the second. Continue this pattern all the way to the bottom.
Once you reach the end, cut the bottom strand in half and tie either side to the strand above it where they cross, leaving a tail. Cut off these tails and keep them for later. Now adjust your weave by spreading it out with your fingers, leaving room for another row. Then I did another row of the ladder weave in the middle of the first, the exact same way by pulling the second strand up behind and over the first, then the third up behind and over the second, and so on all the way down to the bottom. Once you reach the end, cut the bottom strand in half and tie either side to the strand above it where they cross, leaving a tail. Keep the tail. Then spread out your pattern to your liking. Now it's time to make the bows. We do that by tying a few strands together in the center. I chose to do about five strands per bow to make four bows. So grab your tails from earlier or a strip of fabric from the bottom of the shirt and tie the bottom five strands or however many you choose together in the center with a knot. Trim the edges of the knot, then turn the knot around to the back so it's inside the shirt. Repeat the same process to make as many bows as you'd like. I used all the strands and made four bows. And that's the first tutorial. I know that was a lot of information, but I just have a few more things to show you. So for the second tutorial, I've done a triangle shape with a pointed end, which just means where the weave ends is a point. We'll go over the ladder weave on this shape and then learn the twisted weave. Once again, I turned my shirt inside out, put it on and marked where I wanted the bottom of the shirt to be. Then lay the shirt down flat, still inside out, drew a straight line across the bottom of the shirt and trimmed it, then cut off the collar. Now we can mark out where we want the design to go. I chose a triangular section in the back of the shirt. Then use your ruler to measure out and mark the thickness of the strands. I did two centimeters again. Draw lines across the triangle shape where you made your marks. Then put your cardboard inside your shirt, then cut along all of these lines staying inside the triangle shape. Finish with a small hole at the point of the triangle. After cutting out your strands, stretch them all out really well. Now it's time to weave. I like the back side of this pattern better, so I will be doing my weaving while the shirt is still inside out. We're going to start again with the ladder weave, just like before. Grab your top strand and pull it down. Then grab the second strand and pull it up behind and over the first strand. Then pull the second strand down and pull the third up behind and over the second. Continue this pattern all the way down to the bottom.
Once you reach the end, cut the bottom strand in half, then put one end through the hole at the bottom and tie the ends back together inside the shirt. Trim the ends of the knot. Now spread out and adjust your weave to leave room for the next row. Now we are doing the twisted weave and it's only a little bit different. What you're going to do is grab the first strand, twist it creating a loop, then pull the second strand up through the loop. Twist the second strand creating a loop, then pull the third strand up through the loop. Continue this all the way down to the bottom. Once at the bottom, take your strand and cut it in half. Put one end through the bottom hole, then tie the ends back together inside the shirt. If you were to do the exact same weaving on an open-ended design, this is how you would tie a twisted weave at the bottom. Cut the bottom loop in half, then tie one end to the side of the loop above it where they cross and do the same with the other end. Adjust the design as desired and turn your shirt back inside in. And that's everything I know about t-shirt cutting and weaving for now. <laughs> I really hope I explained everything well and I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did or if you have any questions, be sure to let me know, and if you're looking for more content, check out my other social media, all at Unorthodol. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking here, or watch another video right over here. Thanks for watching!